Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Green Valley Parkinson's Support Group Exercise Class. What you're going to need for this class is a chair without arms, a straight back chair, a small tennis ball or rolled up pair of socks for today, um, a light pair of hand weights, always have water, and then a larger ball, one that you would see a little child playing with, about 9 or 11 inches, okay? And we're going to get started in a seated position with our feet apart, about as wide as your hips and shoulders, and flat on the floor, your hands resting on your thighs. Sit tall and take a deep breath through the nose. And slowly let it out through the mouth. All of it. Good. Take a deep breath. Hold it and let it out. And then just look down. Pressing the shoulders down. And then lift the head. Look forward, but tilt it to the side. Good. And then to the other side. Crack. Center and up. The mouth opens a little. And then straight down. Again, pressing the shoulders. And then lift the head and look forward <laughs> as you roll the shoulders. Oh, thank you. <laughs> a, a newbie. <laughs> Reverse it. Good. Work those shoulders. Work those shoulders. And lift it up and down and up and down. Two more. Up and up. Good. Sitting tall. Let's extend the arms. Relaxing the shoulders. Move the fingers. Yeah. Good. Pause. <laughs> extend those fingers out. Tapping finger to thumb. And then stretch them out and scratch. Scratch the air. Three, four, five. Now make a fist and squeeze. Squeeze. Three, four. And squeeze and hold. Two, three. Tight as you can. And then relax. Again, extend them out and roll that wrist. Two, three, four, five. Change it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and they end up here, feeling kind of heavy. Small circles. Good. Change it and make it a little larger. Good. Sitting tall in the chair, reverse it again for a big circle. Keeping those arms overhead, change that big circle. Go the other way, working shoulders one more time. Good. And then keep them up, pulling them back as far as you can and reaching up and two, and looking up, three, good, four, and one more. And then the arms again are extended to the side with a flexed hand, close to the shoulder, out, in, out, in, three, four, five. And they come down, they're just there on the side of the chair for a side stretch, bent elbow and that arm overhead. Oh yeah, and then twist to look down. Again, chest out and to the other side. Good. Stretch it. And then look down and out and cross them. This is a twist of the upper body as far as you can and hold that position. Good. And then to the other side, working your spine. Good. And again here. The hands, they're on the chair. The weight shifts. The opposite hip is up. Not so attractive, but it's a good practice to shift your weight back and forth. Four. Thank you. One more. Five. Good. And let's just take a little stroll. Just walk. Again, sit forward in the chair, your arms moving in opposition, <sighs> lifting those knees. Yeah. Good. Keep going. You know, we all of us, I think, don't do enough cardio. So try to do some of that. Fit it in a couple minutes every day. All right. We're going to come back to the starting position with space behind you. Grab your weights, please. Wrapping the fingers around them and the thumb 
goes around the fingers and the elbows tuck. We're going to start with a bicep curl, a little different today. So lift them up and we're going to just work one arm for 10 reps. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine, 10, but don't let it sit on that leg. Comes back to that position. And now the other side, up, down. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. They both rest. Stretch out the fingers, maybe. Yeah, I think he's shopping, Nancy. <laughs> Again, wrap it, lift them up. Both arms this time, up, down. Two, three, four. Do you need anything? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, good. Nine, ten. Keep them in your hands, but drop the weighted arms to the side of your chair. Sitting tall, lift one, tuck the elbow. This is a lateral stretch, working the oblique muscles. Get down there and then slowly come up, changing that to the other side. Perfect. And then up where both arms drop and we're gonna bring them to the back, stretch the chest. And forward, rotating the arms. Great job. And there, keep them in your hands. Just take a few seconds to shake it out. And we're gonna drop them again, sitting tall and looking forward for 10 lateral arm raises. So it's here and down. Two, good. Three, four, five, nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and down. Great job. Keep them again in your hands, stretch it out. Hmm. Yeah, all right. They drop to the side. We're going to rotate them slightly. Forearm facing the ceiling for a forward arm raise. Up, down. Two, good. Three, oh, I feel that one. Four, five, six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine. 10 and down. Let's put them down. Let's put them underneath the chair to be seen again though. So out of our way with our feet and our knees together, tighten the abdominal area, cross the arms, looking forward, the legs extend, the feet touch, lift them up and flex and point. Two, three, yeah, four, five, your cocapelli is stretching, seven, eight, nine, 10, he's getting a workout. All right, bring it back in. Keep up, extend it, lift him up. Looking forward, flex the feet, toes touch, heels out for five. Two, three, four, five. Heels touch, toes out for five. Two, three, four, five. Great job, uncross the arms, separate the feet, bring it right back into this position and scoot forward a little bit more. Yeah. This is a great floor because it has lines on it and you want to slide one leg forward, trying to keep the sole of your shoe on the floor. So working that ankle, the arms are out, the fingers spread apart, same arm as leg. See if I can do it today. So here, you're going to reach for that foot that's extended, looking down at it as the other arm is behind you, reaching for the ceiling. Nice. And come up opposite arm to leg. Again, the focus is on that foot. Reach and hold. Perfect. And there, drop them. Same thing on this side. Shoulders over hips, same arm as leg. Reach and hold. Two, three, four, five, all the way up. Opposite arm to leg. Reach and hold. Two, three, four, five. And there. And then we come back into this starting position. A hand that rests, spread the fingers, and you're going to reach across the chest and up toward the ceiling. Stay seated on the chair and then to the other side. Good. Reach. Good. And now it goes straight to the side with the fingers spread apart. Yeah. 
and there. Down to the opposite foot on the outside, nice. Reaching for it, helps to have very long arms. And then here, to the side again, good. And up, a little bit higher, reach for it, good. And there, super. Well, we've been in a closed position, we've been in this position, now let's take it wider. So shift your weight, always working within your range of motion. So you wanna keep knees over feet, working the hip and stretching the inner thigh. Here, place a hand on the inside for support. This is straight up, twist. And look up. As this one travels down toward the ankle and the floor, breathe with the stretch, nice Nancy. And up, work in that waistline again. Good, stretch it. And there, good. They come down and the feet walk back, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, into a closed position. And the feet together, and the arms are crossed. A little weight forward, focus is on the floor with a flat back. You're going to rock on the outside of the feet, the knees stretch to the side. Bring it together again and come up, transferring the weight. There, good. And come up one more time stretch it out perfect and there separate the feet back into that position both weights for some tricep kickbacks all right find that place in the chair wrap the fingers and drop the arms to the side and we're going to come forward just a little flat back not looking at me but looking down at the floor lift these high now both arms extend to the back the fingers face the ceiling Curl it in, and again, extend it, good, and bring it in. Squeeze when they're stretched out. Four, good. Five, bring it in. Six, curl it. Seven, eight, nine, last one of the first set, good. And drop it down. Take a deep breath. Don't wait for me to remind you to get water if you need some water. So shake it out. They're dropped. Forward a bit. Bring it up and extend to the back. Good. Squeeze and bring it in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent eight, nine, ten, and down. Awesome. We're going to put them on the floor and so they're out of our way underneath the chair. We're going to do some stretches. So again, a couple of inches forward in the chair. A lunge with a slightly bent knee. You're going to come forward with that upper body but not round the back and the arms are here. So focus and it comes back to that starting position, you got it. One more. Now open and slide this to the side and look and bring it back and slide. He's not very flexible. <laughs> and to the front, toes up, that little teddy bear and stretch it nice. One more. Don't waste time, start on the other side, lunge forward, good, and up. Two, give me one more forward. Open the hip and look out the window, bring it back. There, yeah, there. To the front, toes up, reach for it, yes. Two, this is it, three, and there. Woo, slippery pants, all right. Yeah, take a break, breathe sip of water and the next one we're no longer facing forward but we're going to turn to the side a little bit charlie if you're watching from indiana this is for you because i know it's your favorite stretch so <laughs> all right back into this position well we've got a, a chair leg in between our feet the hand that's close to the back of your chair hold the frame as you extend the outside leg hip to toe and then reach for the wall in front of you. Grab the rope and bring it in. One more. Good job, stretch it out. 
and round the back and come into a little ball. Sitting tall, we've got the other side to do. Start with your feet, hold on and reach. Excellent, and round. And reach and curl it up. Perfect. And back to an upright position and back to this position, our starting position. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna drop our arms to the side. If you need the chair legs to help balance you, use them. Otherwise, they're just here. We're gonna lift this high, knee bent, flex foot, extend it and point it. Bring it in and out. Three, good. Four, five, six, I think he's sleeping. Seven, our teddy bear. Nine, 10. Great job. Place it wide. The weight now shifts. The other one is up. Flex, point. Good. Two, three, working hip, knee, and ankle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. And they're back into this position. Take a deep breath, some water if you need it, and come forward in the chair just a little bit more. Sitting high on those sit bones, legs extended, crossed. So you want to pull up in that upper body. The hands follow the seam up to the hip area, opening up the chest. Lean back a little bit, all right? Keep this broad, looking forward. Travel down with one and lift the other, yes. Working those waistlines. Two, and the abdominal muscles. Three, four, one more on each side, five. Great job. Now come to the center and pull yourselves up and put the other on top, sitting tall. Bring them up, open the chest, lean back. Let's go to the other side. Nancy, stretch and lift, good. Two, and stretch. Three, four, and last one. All right, and again, sitting tall, separating the feet, and scoot in back into the chair just a bit. Always have some space behind. And the next one is flexed and extended. Round the back, the chin tucks to the chest, the elbows come to the center, and then go down into your lap into a little ball and hold the position. Then come forward with a flat back, Rising, lifting, stretching, looking up, mouth opens. Again, curl it up and scoop forward. Perfect. And right there. Great job. All right. Your feet haven't moved. Hopefully they're right that same position. He hasn't moved at all. Got a little teddy bear over there, <laughs> all right. Our hands are in a really stretched position, arms out. Now we're gonna close them, open, close, spock hands. There, four, five. Now make a little claw and then a really tight fist. Drop it and lift it up slowly. Yeah, and shake it out. Again, they're out here. That's one you don't do very often. There. And then open. Here. And then make a fist. Drop it. Lift it up. Back into that position. There. Flip one. Palms up. Fingers grabbed. Pull down. And then up. Pull them back. You could do these. And then the other. Palms up. <laughs> Good. And there. Yeah. Finger presses. You're going to form that circle. Sometimes we, we neglect our hands and our feet. We just think of the major muscles when you think of exercise often, but don't want to do that. Good. Tapping. 
good job. Shake them out. One of my favorite ones because I spend a lot of time in the car or just sitting behind a desk maybe. So you want to sit tall, palms up, tuck the elbows, extend the arms to the side and stretch. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Let's do that one more time. Sit tall. They're out. They're flipped. They're tucked and stretched. Yeah. Pull it back. Keeping that nice position, place the hands on the chair, your feet still in a wide position on the floor for balance. This upper body weight comes forward. It's a chair lift, so it's upper body does the work. Lift yourself up, down. Two, how many? 10, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and down. Now close it. Feet together and the knees touching if you can and forward a bit more in the chair. Hold on as you lean back. You're going to bring the knees to the chest. Up, down, two. It didn't go very far. Four, five, six. Kurt will get it. Seven, eight, nine, ten or not. He walked right by. <laughs> it's okay. It's about a foot beat. He'll get it. A tennis ball. So we're going to separate them. Shoulders, hips, knees, and feet in line, and our arms are extended for toe touches. Up, and two, and three. Good. And four, and five. Keep going. Six, and seven, and eight. Good. Nine, ten. Perfect. Separate them again. Find that upright position. Grab your weights, if you would, please. For some lower body exercises, we're going to place them on our legs. Open the hand. Just rest it on top, just to keep it there. And sit tall, looking forward. Lift it up. Extend it out. Bend and down. Transfer the weight to the other side. Same thing. Good. And down. Two. Out. And down. Lift. Extend, bend, down. Three. Breathe with it. Up, out, and drop. Four, out, good. Sitting tall, out. Five, out, in, down. Lift it, extend it, bend, and down. Six. Up, out. Seven. We're getting there. <laughs> Up, out. Three more on each side. Don't worry, there's not a second set. <laughs> Nine, out, in, down. Lift, extend, bend, down. Up, out. Good job. Lift, out, in, down. Take a break. We're going to make these legs work a little bit more in a different way. And this is falling. There, okay. Placed toward the very, very front of the leg, sitting tall in the chair, extend a straight leg. Try to keep the sole of your shoe on the floor. Work some flexibility in your ankle. And we're gonna do straight leg lifts, 10 of them. It's up, down. Two, good, three, four, five, six, you got it, seven, eight, nine, 10, and down. Mowing, extend it out. Lift it in. It's up, down. Two, three, four, five, six. You have to be here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Great job. If he can do that, he could be here. All right. We're going to get rid of these, and we're going to put them out of our way underneath the chair, replaced by the tennis ball that, that he was going to mow over. All right. Remember, if you don't have that pair of socks, sit tall, wake up your hands. Yeah, roll that between them. And this is such a good little tool, a little accessory to have at home to stretch out your hands and your feet. All right, speaking of hands, stretch them and work that in between the fingers. summer months being warmer maybe we're not bothered as much with stiffness as we might be in the fall 
but still, it's a good thing to do every day. Good posture, soft fist, place it, and do a pattern. Maybe close your eyes. Challenge your balance. Your balance in the chair, and your balance with the ball on your fist. Keeping your eyes closed, carefully place it in the other hand. And again, do something, some pattern. Good. Eyes closed, it transfers from one hand to the other. Good. Open your eyes. Now wake up your feet. We're going to put the ball on the floor, the foot on the ball, and if you're quick, you can take your shoes off and have bare feet or stocking feet. You'll feel it more. But press down and then roll back and forth. Good. Both feet. I won't feel it as much as Nance because I don't have time to take my tennis shoes off. So it's a good thing to have at home. Stimulating. All right. Grab it before it rolls away and put it back in your chair if you're in class. We're going to scoot back into the seat, feeling the back for support, the feet slightly behind the knees, engaging the core, pressing against the back of the chair, and then arch the back and then press again. Good. And stretch, create that little opening in the small of the back. One more. Stretch, good. And then continue to press into the chair as you extend the legs. Lift them up and circle. Two, three, four, five. Reverse that. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. They come to the floor. They get pulled back. And you want to sit tall in the chair, shifting the weight right to left. Walk yourself forward on those sit bones out to the very, very, very edge. Sitting tall, and the arms, let's do overheads today. So palms of your hands facing each other, the shoulders relaxed. We're going to lean back, engaging the core. Good. Like I needed to tell you that, right? Two. I can feel it. Three. We're going to hold on ten. Four. And up. Five. Six, excellent. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Get ready. Go back and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Sit tall, placing the hands on your thighs and the weight forward. Flat back, though. You're going to look down at the floor and then lift the heel and then the other. Drop the first one and then the second. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. Push into the floor and bend those shoes. Up, up. One more. Up, up, down, down. Just heels a few times. We're getting ready for a sit to stand. So wake up your feet. Again, this is nose over toes position. The weight shifts forward as you come up. Bend the knees, weight in the heel, back into the chair. We're going to do five of these. So Good, and bring it back. Shift it and come up. Bend and back to that upright position. Four, last one. And all the way up. Back into the chair, back to that upright position. The fingers spread and placed on the neck and stretch the elbows. A seated crunch warm-up is a twist side to side. And then twist, lift knee to opposite elbow and touch. Good. Two. And up. You've got it. Three. Keep going. Four. And up. Five. And lift. And six. And up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woohoo! Great job. We're going to grab the big ball. All right. Again, make sure that your feet are apart. You've got some space behind you. And you're going to hold the ball. 
Keep it close to the chest, elbows down now, extend the arms, transferring the weight forward over your thighs, reaching, keep going, reach for it, and hold that position. Now come up slowly, extending the arms overhead, and again, the, engage the core, lean back. Perfect. And up, drop it about chest height. You're going to track the ball, but we're not going to go very far. Just over one knee. And then out from that one knee, placing most of the weight on one cheek, right? <laughs> All right, and come up. And then to the other knee and out from it. Good. And up. And now track it to the side, twisting the spine and hold. Great job. Let's take that same thing to this side and hold and bring it center. It's called a chest press. So it's placed on the chest and the elbows are down and you want to squeeze as hard as you can. Urgh. You can't really place it there because the microphone, Nancy, <laughs> make a lot of noise. And relax one more time. Squeeze hard. Work to fatigue and relax. That space, we're going to fill it up. We're going to place the ball on the inner thigh, nowhere near your knee, but the hands are on top and the feet now in a closed position. Sit tall in the chair and look forward and squeeze that ball just as much as you can. Working to strengthen the hip area. Let's start to shake. And relax one more time. Squeeze hard. Good. Breathe. And relax. Hold the ball, but separate the feet. We're going to put it on the floor between them. So hold on to the ball. And I always need to lean back, uh, scoot back into the chair a little bit. Okay, there. If you need to hold on, do it for balance. But if you don't, let's cross them. Look forward, extend the legs, and lift it up, down for 10. Two, three, four, good, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. They're up in the air for a circle. Two, three, four, five, reverse it. Five, four, excellent. Three, two, one, and to the floor. Bring it in, and we're gonna stand. We don't need the ball anymore. I think I'll just put mine on top of my weights. But let's practice that sit to stand again. Try not to use these or this if you don't need to. The weight is forward, nose over toes, and come up. And we'll be behind the chair. Arms distance from it. So you can use it if you need it. If you don't, they're dropped to the side, looking forward. Transferring the weight to the ball of the foot. Lift the heels up, down. Two, ankle strength. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to come straight down on ten. Nine, ten. And now that weight in the heel as you lift the toes up for ten. Two, I have to do it too. Three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. And I'm going to maybe need your help. I'm going to turn to the side so those of you at home can see this one. All right. I think I'm still in. Arms distance from the back of your chair with your feet apart. The weight, though, placed on one leg. This time I ask that you kind of put that hand on the chair. Oh, sorry. Should I move back? Okay. Thank you, Nancy. All right. So you're looking forward. The weight's placed on one leg, and the other one is going to be brought up. So the knee is high. Hold on to the chair. You're going to go down and then look forward as you kick to the back with a flexed foot. Good. Two more. So lift it up and kick to the back. Looking forward one more. Round it and kick to the back. Good. It comes to the floor, about hip width apart. The weight now on the other side, looking forward at first. Lift the knee, go down, 
greet it and kick to the back flex it perfect up working the spine and one more up and kick to the back good and now we're back into this nice position where we shift it to that first side again extend a straight leg bend the front knee and sit into that stretch oh yeah good job and then come up bring it forward the weight transfers the other one extends bend and stretch good job and back to a starting position feet right underneath you fingers on the chair but most of the weight on the ball of the foot because we're going to take a bow we're going to bend from the hip looking down at your chair with a flat back how do we know that our weight is forward see if you can pop your heels up and down a few times good and then come up nice and tall don't forget to breathe the weight transfers forward bend see if you can lift the heels up and down good and all the way up good. we're going to stand to the side of the chair for some knee lifts much like a march today so you're in line with the frame the weight is on the inside leg and if you don't need to hold on don't all right so starting with this one up first and nancy gave me the idea to use your arms yeah march it four you got it five and up six and up seven eight no it's not cardio nine <laughs> ten Good job. I'm going to turn the music down a little. I don't know why. I can't hear it anyway, but just in case. A little balance exercises. So we're in this nice position, standing with our feet about hip width apart. The weight, though, on the inside leg. And this is what the sequence looks like. It's going to be step forward. It's like a rock. So a rocking step is this back and forth so it's here the weight on the inside leg forward rock lift forward rock lift great job let's try it one more time forward rock lift now this is up so now we're going to place it to the side side rock good transferring the weight from side to side and now this one doesn't have much weight on it. So we're going to step to the back and rock and rock and lift. Yes, and rock and rock and lift. One more time. Rock and lift. Good. And then we'll do it to the other side. So we're right here. This is all about transferring weight. Okay. So right now your feet have pretty much equal weight on them. Most of the weight, though, is off the heel. So it's most on the ball of the foot where you have most of the feeling, but we're going to transfer that to the inside leg. Use the chair if you need it. Focus forward. Take a rocking step forward, back, and lift. Good. One more time. Forward and back and lift. Now it goes to the side. Rock, rock. One more time. Rock. You got it. And now to the back with that outside leg. Rock, rock, and lift rock rock and lift beautiful to the other side and maybe is that good thank you all right awesome so we're back to the starting position the weight though on the inside leg and it's step forward with the outside foot rock rock lift rock rock lift side rock 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 step back forward up back forward up all right now touch touch so you're standing on one foot let's see the difference transfer the weight touch not a lot of weight on it it's not even a rocking step it's just a touch and a touch and to the back forward again touch 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 try it on the other side plant yourself firmly on the floor transfer the weight on the inside <laughs> you're getting more exercise than ever thank you all right touch it don't look down but look out touch 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 
One more time. Touch, touch, touch. Great job. So when we walk or, and then we come to a stand, maybe in line waiting for the groceries, don't lock your knees and make sure that if you're going to stand on one leg that at least you have some weight on this one that's cocked on the ball of the foot. Best way to stand is with your feet apart and your knees slightly bent. All right, we're going to do some cardio. So what you've used so far, make sure it's out of your way underneath your chair and we're going to keep in motion for about two minutes. And I chose this one because I'm thinking of Michelle. He always used to like this. It's actually more than two minutes, so we won't do the whole thing. It's perky music. I love it. Love that. I just hate to turn that off. <laughs> okay. Whew. All right. A bit out of breath. I don't need that. Do some cardio every day. Yeah. Do something for your heart. We're going to reach down and grab your favorite weight. <laughs> Wrap your hands around it. A little out of breath, I hope. Extend the arms. You're going to come forward from the hip with a flat back. Drop the weight between the feet. Extend the arms and it's all the way up. Two. And up. Good. Three. And up. Four. Up. Five. And up. Six. Good. Seven, sitting tall, eight, nine, good job, ten, and there. And we're ready for some cool down. So again, sit tall, sit forward in the chair. Take a deep breath through the nose. And out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Sit tall, but drop the chin to the chest. And then lift the head. Listen. And look up. Listen. Drop the chin to the chest. Slow head roll. Reverse it. Look up, mouth opens. And look down, stretch it. And center the shoulders forward, up. Pull them back and down and circle. Let's go the other way. There you go. Those arms out. They're here. The elbows touch and stretch and touch and stretch. One more. There. Pull them back a bit and unfold them. Placed on a pretend doorknob. You want to turn it. Yeah. And then give yourself a hug. And open wide. Yeah. And then the other arm on top. And stretch. Good. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be here day after tomorrow. Go out and make it a great day. Be happy. Be healthy. Be kind. <laughs>